So when I got out of the military way back in 1992, it wasn't an easy task. When you've been in such a disciplined and controlled environment and your work team's more like brothers and sisters that you would literally die for, finding a civilian job or even a tribe is a really hard thing to do, especially after a time at war. Well, I've always been a dreamer and I've always been a creative kind of a guy. And at one of my first jobs after the military, I was really struggling with what I wanted to do and really to find out what my passions were in the civilian world. The job I was in was a 100% sales commission job and sales weren't doing so well. So while I was out calling on customers one day, I met a man who really must have seen something in me. He was an older gentleman, very, very well put together in a suit, and it seemed that people around town all knew who he was. He was a popular radio show host in the area, and he did some sales for the station. He wanted me to come by the station because he wanted to offer me a job, a job in the radio business. It was an exciting option for me. Now, I already wasn't making enough money where I was, and at least I would have fun in the new job, creating commercials in the studio, doing sales, and I was offered a chance to have my own show on air. How cool is that? So when I went back to my job, and after talking over with my wife, I decided to meet with my boss and tell him what was on my mind. I thought he'd be excited about the chance I had to do something I dreamed about. <laughs> well, within a few minutes of our meeting, and me nervously sharing my heart with him, he erupted in anger and said, Matt, you're absolutely stupid. I remember exactly. You're gonna go after some intangible sales job over what you have here? A real chance to succeed and make something yourself? You'd be an idiot to leave here. <laughs> well, when I mentioned that I couldn't even pay our bills and off the draw that I had right then, and I was offered a commission job that the other job would actually pay more and give me a chance to pay my bills and really make a difference in people's lives. Well, he told me that he didn't accept my letter of resignation and that I could get my things together and leave. Really? <laughs> Obviously, that was a major impact in my life. You know, a soldier fresh out of the army after the Gulf War. And then I got this from a man who was trying to be a father figure to me. So, what would you have done? Have you ever been in a situation like the one I just talked to you about? Were you the boss or were you the employee? Now, I'd like to hear your thoughts and I'd love to have your comments below. And I'm gonna come back tomorrow and I'm going to share with you the rest of the story. You don't wanna miss the rest of the story. All right, so in the meantime, my name is Matt Crow. I'm an author, a keynote speaker, a coach, consultant, and a LinkedIn content creator. I love doing that here. It's my passion to help you overcome life obstacles that are blocking you from achieving your number one goal. Why? So you can live a life of abundance. It's possible. So if you'd like information about a one-on-one -on -one coaching relationship with me, or if you're interested in having me at your next event or workshop, just DM me here and I can send you information on the next steps to flip out in your life or in your business. All right, so don't forget what you do. Comment down here below with your response to my questions. They're right up here today. Questions up here, comments down there. <laughs> and as one famous man used to say, tune in tomorrow for the rest of the story. Flip out!